Hello, uh, midi YouTuber friends, and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is going to be a full flight with the Say Intentions AI. And as you see with the flight, I get some interesting results. It's always interesting using the Say Intentions ATC, and this flight's no difference. No different. This was chosen by our Discord. I gave them, if you're not joined Discord, link down below. In general chat, I gave people a few different choices of videos. This seemed to be the most requested one. So, full flight with Say Intentions AI ATC. I tell you what, it's just a lot of fun. Let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with the video. So for this flight, we're part up at San Diego Airport. And uh, we're going to fly over to Los Angeles, KLAX, I believe. That's correct. San Diego, not very far. In fact, let me show you on Sim Brief. I've got you in window mode. There you go, San Diego to Los Angeles, KLAX. There we go. And this is a route I set up in Sim Brief. So I've just set up a simple route. It's Roughly, probably about an hour long. And to get into the GTNXI, by the way, I don't know if you know this. I'm going to show you it anyway. If you go to when you generate a flight, so you're viewing flight plan. So when you generate it, you'll get to this page. Go to downloads, and you might have to show details. And if you scroll down, you can save it as a TDS GTNXI file. And the default path for that, by the way, is this one. Your, your PC, Drive C, that's the default path. Program data, TDS. So in on Drive C, program data, TDS folder, GTNXI, FPL for flight plan. And you put your flight plans in there. It, the video's not about that, so I won't spend too much time on that. But that's how I got it into my GTNXI. And there you go. Now there's one thing I want to show you. Let's go back to here. I'll bring up the Say Intentions box. I'll go to my settings. Now to link your Simbrief plan. So you make a plan in Simbrief. And for the program to recognize it. You have to use your username. Mine's Hudison. I'm actually going to... Let me just press OK on that. I'll show you something on screen. A picture. And basically you have to go to your account settings in Simbrief. And it's your username alias. I've circled it for you on screen. I've, I've blanked the other important information because I don't want you to copy my Simbrief account. And it's your username alias, which there it is on screen. Let's take that off screen. So that's how you do it. So you go to settings, insane tensions. I've showed this in my original video for say intentions, the rest of the settings. So I won't go through them. But that's how you do it. I say you link your sim brief plan. Only other thing I've done here is turn the chatter off. It's just me and the ATC. So I don't have any other chatter on at the moment. That may change. Now I've got my radios. Oh, actually, let me just jump into the aircraft. I've got it tuned into ground and ATIS. Let me switch it over to ATIS. And it will give me all the important information. 0500 feet. Temperature 16. Dew point one zero. Altimeter three zero zero two. There you go. Landing runway two seven. Landing no runway two seven. The approach is in use. And departing information runway two seven. Notices to airmen. That's all Ocean we out need. Of Six Sierra X-ray now, out of service. Now that's done. What I need to do is actually tune it into clearance. This has got a clearance. It's one two five nine. What you can do with the GTNXI, it's very neat. Just click on the box. One two nine five. Was it? Just double check that you just enter it in that way very quick. One, two, five, nine. <laughs> well, one, two, five, nine. It won't take a minute. It's lovely. You can just click on the box, your standby frequency, and just type in the frequency on the GTNX site. It's brilliant for that. I'll swap it using my radio panel. And I'm on clearance. Let's do a radio check. Radio check, please. There you go. Oh, radio shack, please. Doesn't pick up when I say radio check for some reason. It thinks I'm saying radio shack. 
And there's a... There we go. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta Lindbergh clearance loud and clear. Thank you. But it picked it up uh, nicely there. Pick up my thank you there. So there you go, radio shack. Lindbergh, by the way, is San Diego Airport. That confused me when they said Lindbergh. But if you Google that, it is actually San Diego Airport. It's what they use, Lindbergh. Next thing I need to do here is, is actually give them my I, inf uh, IFR clearance. I've got a flight filed. So let's do that. I'll show you how you do that. I may not use the right terminology. That's what this video is about. I'm still learning. Let's try. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta Clearance IFR to KLAX with Information Juliet. I think that's right, actually. Oh, <laughs> it's tra translated it a bit funny, but it should clear up. It's a clever program. It will understand. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, I hear you. you. One sec. So give them a set. So this is realistic. If you're tuning into a real-life clearance, they're going to take a moment to find... Uh, the flight plan you filed. Generally, it'll take a moment or two. So just give him a moment or two. He's going through his papers, trying to find them. If it was instant, it'll be unrealistic. That's realistic. Skyhawk Hotel Delta clear to Los Angeles International Airport via the Zoo. Three departure radar Zoo. vector, seal beach. <laughs> then as filed. Climb and maintain 10,000 feet. Departure on 125.3, squawk 6564. Okay, I'm going to read this back to him, but I'm going to take my time. So I'm going to say clear to clear to Los Angeles Airport via the Zool free departure. Radar vectors to Seal Beach, then as filed. Okay, let's try this. Clear to Los Angeles International Airport via the Zool free departure. Radar vectors to Seal Beach, then as filed. Climb and maintain 10,000 feet. Departure 125. Point three Squawk six five six four Skyhawk Hotel Delta Delta. See I messed that up a little bit, but it should translate fine, and even if it doesn't show properly here, the program will understand what you've said near enough and translate it back. And it'll just take a moment, there you go. Skyhawk Hotel Delta read back, correct? Expect runway two seven, contact ground on one two nine or no. point seven seven five. Expect runway 27, contact ground on 129.775, er, Skyhawk Hotel, Delta Delta. Uniform Delta Delta, oh never mind. How can I keep forgetting my username? I, I've not been for a flight for a, f well, I did a flight before so there's no excuse basically. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in front of me, I've got a piece of paper with it in, in front of me. Just so I don't forget that. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta, it's not difficult. Okay. Oops, pressing the wrong buttons there, never mind. So, what's it want me to do? Tune. I'm just going to do this part in desktop mode, the rest of the flight. I don't need to keep showing you this box, I'm just showing you at the start, just to show you the interactions. So, 129775. So, I can just do that again. 129, isn't this handy? Ah. Now. Doesn't always allow me to. 2975. How did I get around this before? Yeah, the grounds are funny. Actually, no, the ground's completely wrong. Ground is here. 1239. Not quite sure what it's doing there. But it's ground on this, on this San Diego airport is 1239. So you may want to look at that. Uh, Say intentions because that is not correct and that is correct. One, two, three, decimal nine. Well, there you go. I'll type that in. I'll swap it over. Still in beta, really, the program, so you've got to give them time and forgive these little things. Uh, Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta ready to taxi. It's just me and them, so. He should let me taxi. Let's see what taxi instructions he gives me. I want runway 27. Should be Juliet and Charlie, maybe. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform, Delta Delta, Lindbergh, ground taxi to runway 27 via Hotel Charlie. Contact tower okay. on 118.3 when ready for departure. 
Taxi to runway 27 via Hotel Charlie, contact tower on 118.3 when ready for departure. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. Uh, there we go. So yeah, okay, he wants me to go this way and Charlie to runway 27. What I'm going to do, guys, just to hurry things along, I'll go and taxi and I'll bring you back. And we're back. Just that runway 27. What a lovely day we got, haven't we? Should be a very scenic flight, this. Okay, but I'm going to change things up a little bit on the... Oh, there's a jumbo jet on the runway. I <laughs> didn't see that. Gonna wait for this chap to depart. I've got the flight plan in on my uh, GTNXI, by the way. I think I've mentioned that before. There you go. Flight plans in. So take off and then we'll fly over. Following nav. Unless it gives us... Okay, let's contact... Uh, oh, let's just see. I can see. Uh, tower. So I'm gonna contact tower. I've got the frequency tuned in. Tower, this is Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta, holding short of runway 27, ready to take off. Give me a moment, you know, realistic. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta, Lindbergh Tower, runway 27, line up and wait. Affirmative. Oh, you caught that. Okay. <laughs> right, so he wants me to line up. Okie dokie. So I'm just following following instructions. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, runway 27, cleared for takeoff. Roger. I bet they love me using that terminology, don't they? Never mind. <laughs> well, let's get the view back up here. And we can do a rolling start, can't we? I do believe I've got... Flaps in takeoff position. They certainly are. That'll be okay. Anyway, little powerhouse, the TBM 850, so we're going to have no issues here. I'm just on a live server, by the way. These other pilots are not on the same tensions. AI ATC server. There is no such thing at the moment, I don't believe. Someone corrects me if I'm wrong there. Bring my flaps up. Got my gear up. And just trim. Positive, yeah. I don't want to go back down to minimums. Thank you. Oh, and I don't want to do that either. Alright, there we go. Oh, now it's climbing. Now you're climbing. Okay, autopilot. Nav. And it should follow our course. And I'm just going to put... A Vertical speed of ooh, 1,200 feet per minute. Should be fine. Is my altimeter correct? I think it was. I've just pressed my B key just to be safe. Just going to check. If you see me mouse moving to the bottom, I'm just checking things at the bottom of the screen. I'm not showing you them. I'm trying to give you a better picture or a fuller picture of the aircraft, rather. And there we go. Climbing to 1,000 feet. So... According to uh, Sim Brief, it should take 45 minutes, this flight, or something of that sort. Well, you know, if there's a part where I can cut and then bring you back a little bit later along the flight, I may do that. We'll see. Or do you Skyhawk like... Skyhawk Hotel oh. Delta contact departure on 125.3. Better reply to this, just a moment. Contact departure on 125.3, Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. 1253, so I go back to the same 1253, click in this box, so easy, with, oh, with this GTNXI, what, 1253, that wasn't easy, I don't know what's going on there, yes, confirm, thank you, and swap that, just make sure that was 1253, departure. Departure, this is Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta, climbing past 2,000 feet. I think that's correct. It will do. Still learning, learning the full terminology and things. Don't worry if you don't know it yourself, people. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta, SoCal departure. Not seeing you on radar, cycle your transponder and identity ah, for me. I didn't do my transponder, did I? What was my transponder? I'm just scrolling back up. Transponder should be 6564. 
6564. I've got my radio panel set for this, so I'm going to do it down on my radio panel. It's handy for that as well. Link to the radio panel down below in the description. 6564. Swap that. 6564. Now, what does she want? Scroll back down again. Oh, just make sure that's correct. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta SoCal yep. departure. Climb and maintain 10,000 altimeter 29901. Climb and maintain 10,000 altimeter 29901. Uh, put too many nines in there. <laughs> Hopefully the program will understand it. I won't show you the box, but I'll let you know the results if it did understand it. 2991, yeah, it's understood it. It's read back, correct. 2991, so I can do that. There's the altimeter there. 2992, it's on. 2991, there you go. Correct. So, wants me to climb. I'm gonna see if it allows me to change my flight level. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, oh. fly heading 060 vectors to seal. Fly heading 060 vectors to seal. So, he wants me to. Now, I'm gonna have to put it in heading mode. Six zero. I'm just using my multi panel for this, and I'm gonna put it in the heading mole. That's what she's after. So I'm gonna obey what ATC wants. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Fly heading zero six zero vectors for Seal Beach V O R. Okay. Flying heading zero six zero vectors for Seal Beach V O R. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta. There you go, just let her know that I've understood that. 060, that's very strange. It's taking me away, of course. Heading 060, that's what I've got it set as. Well, that's going to put me over here. What is going on? Okay. Just going to see. That it's, I did this flight before and it's changed already, so it seems to change. I guess depending what's going on with the other ATC traffic. That's quite nice, isn't it? Let's just see, there's my course. I'm flying away from the course slightly. But I'm going to see what she says in a moment. Ah. Interesting. Very scenic flight, people, isn't it? Uh, Got to keep an eye in internally, really, because... Uh, I've got a shortcut key for that. Alton 1. Okay, 060, that's where I'm flying to. Let's just see. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, I am not seeing your transponder. Confirm squawking 6564 mode C. Six, I did one more six, time six, for me. Oh, 6564, it wasn't a oh. People, you probably saw that at home, didn't you? 6564, there we go, now. See, if you don't set it right, they'll tell you. Transponder set to squawking 6564, Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta. How do I ident on this? Uh, this aircraft should be an ident button. Just a moment. I'm just going to let... Yeah, that's come through. So I'll come back to this. Come back down here. Is there an ident? My multi-panel there isn't. Uh, Skyhawk Hotel Delta Transponder, Squawk 6564 ident, observed radar contact established. Continue climb and ident. maintain 10,000. Okay. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta, flight level changed to 6,000 feet, please. Let's just see if she allows it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I'm just waiting for her to confirm that she's just thinking about that. Can we do it? Skyhawk ah. Hotel Delta, unable to approve altitude change to 6,000. Maintain 10,000. Oh, kid, okay, love. I shall do that. Do you still want me to... What course am I flying on? I'm flying away from... I'm going to put it back on nav. I don't like that change. Shouldn't do. I should follow ATC instructions here. But 060 is taking me away from the course. So I'm just going to see. <laughs> I don't want to be flying in the middle of nowhere. So that's interesting. Okay. But we'll just see how the program... Skyhawk Hotel Delta Radar Contact. San Diego Altimeter 29901. Fly heading 305 vectors to Seal Beach. Los Alamitos. Then own navigation. 
Okay. Radar contact, San Diego. Al altimeter 29901, fly heading 305, vectors to Seal Beach, then on navigation. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. Okay, let's pick that up. Wonder what she'll make of that. What does she want me to fly? Heading off 306, 2991. Let's just set that. That's fine. Yeah, heading slightly off there, but I'm going to trust this to... Well, it, it's going to get back on course and fly towards that heading, I think. So let's see what happens, because it's still getting to walk back towards the magenta line. I've got it on nav mode. Should be okay. 10,000 feet. I want a flight level change. Don't want to be this high, to be honest. <laughs> so, let's see. At least you corrected that part. Let's just see when we get back to the magenta line here. GTNXI is great for this. The autopilot's great. Even if you're some way away from it, you'll lock back onto your nav. Whereas the G1000 doesn't always. It seems to do it better on this. Have I not set... Why is it going? I should set an altitude, you know. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, what mistakes am I making today? I didn't set an altitude on my multi-panel. You probably saw that up there as well. Vertical speed. Bring me back down. Now I've got it set to 10,000. And she wants me a, f a bearing of 306. So when we reach the magenta line, we shall see. We're just heading towards the magenta line. It will be about 306, won't it? It'll be fine, people. We're doing okay. Disobeying maybe a couple of orders there. Uh, I, if it was a, I mean, I could have actually en inquired about the heading and goodness knows what with the AI. But it doesn't matter. She's put me back on course. Nice vision jet over there. V22, which one's that again? Uh, I recognise most of the aircraft. There. The identifiers, you know. C700. DHC4, yeah. Recognise most of them. V22. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, contact Los Angeles Center on 126.775. Contact Los Angeles Center on 126.775. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta. Okay. Oh, 126.775 again. Will this allow me? Have I not got it in the right... I wonder. 126.775. Okay. What I might need to do is come down to here. Go back and go to my settings a moment here. System. Setup in the GTNXI. Because there's a different... I can put it on 833 spacing. See that? See if that allows me to do it. So 126775. Yeah, it does allow me. 126775. Is that right? 126775. Yep. Swap over. And what station is that? There's a lot going on, isn't there? Los Angeles Center, this is Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta, with you at 10,000 feet. Terminology again, but it will do. Is it picked up on that? Yep, it has. So it'll take a moment. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta, Los Angeles Center, roger. Roger, roger. I shouldn't do that, that's going to confuse him. <laughs> I couldn't resist, sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay. He, he had a smile on his face. I could sense it. <laughs> okay. So we're getting on. Chaps, should I keep you with me? I might as well. It's not a very long flight. And it gives you an idea of what will happen. The changes along the way. Let's try it. Skyhawk Hotel. Uniform Delta Delta. Flight level change mode, please, to 6,000 feet. I used the wrong terminology there. But let's just see if he picks it up. Hopefully it's just going to see that as a flight level change request. That's the way I should have put it. Terminology. Still learning. Ah. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Descend and maintain 6,000. Thank you. Right. 
so I'll put my multi-panel links and multi-panel down below as always when I do these kind of videos people wonder, wondering what I'm using I keep the speed up I'm over stressing the aircraft but I'm gonna descend to 6,000 feet lovely visibility isn't it very nice okay now then yep should be fine and we're gonna carry on along our way stay with me guys Squawk calls right, have I dent? So they got me, but she picked it up anyway. See, if you don't you listen to what they're saying, set your squawk call, find out how to do it if you want to learn. It's a great program for that. It's a great learning tool if you want to practice before you get on that sim. Just realise that some of the commands they give you may be a bit off here on that. It's still in... in it's, it's still in development, the program. Keep that in mind. By the way, link down below is my uh, oh, affiliate link. If you fancy trying this for a month or two, or a year even, I'll put my affiliate link down below. I get a little bit of commission kickback from that. You pay the same. And there's some kind of voucher. Now, I didn't quite understand that when Say Intentions contacted me over that. But you'll get like a... Uh, is it a 5% voucher? There'll be some kind of voucher reward in there as well for something, so yeah, could be worth doing. Hope I got that right. Say intentions, correct me in the comments if I'm completely off there. Uh, and I'll pin that. Just but yeah, my affiliate link will be down below anyway. There we go. And I'm enjoying it. I do enjoy it. You know, I don't enjoy the default A ATC, I'm afraid. I've done a video on that in the past. I'll link that down below, why not? God, I'm giving myself a lot of work to do. Uh, I just... Uh, yeah, it just gave me odd commands and it just didn't feel whatsoever realistic where this does. If not ultra-realism, it's going towards there and it's in development. In development. And I want to keep an eye on it to see where it goes in the future, this... an outside view. Hope everybody's having a lovely day by the way. I'm uh, I am at, I was out with uh, work colleagues last night and we, we had a couple of drinks. <laughs> it's just a good laugh. They don't watch my videos I don't think but if you do hello you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> good old laugh and it, it's good for the good for the spirits lifted me a bit. Must do it again soon. Right, we're getting down towards 6,000 feet. I'm just at a better altitude. I know the ILS. I know this from Navigraph charts. Link to a Navigraph video down below. I know the ILS for runway 2, for runway 7 left is 111. And I can do it again here. 111. Look at this with the GT and XI. Decimal 1. Enter. I can make that active just by clicking on the top one there. And that's active once we get nearer to Los Angeles. You'll see the identifier come up. And I can ask them. I'm going to ask them for vectors. I'm going to ask them for permission to land on ILS uh, 7 left. There you go. We've reached 6,000 feet. My transponder is correct there as well now. <laughs> I'm on identity mode. That's fine. They've got me. They can see, and the program just track you around the sky. Have no I illusions about that. It knows where I am. Knows what I'm doing. I hope, because I don't. That's lovely in that sort of way. Do you like... I didn't finish what I started before, and that's not unusual. Do you like these full flights? Recording this with OBS, I typically record my videos in GeForce Experience you get a one-to-one -one picture. This can be a little bit laggy OBS for me and my computer. Oh, I am looking to upgrade. By the way, yeah, I've mentioned that, haven't I, in the intro. This flight was chosen by our Discord. I gave them lots of different choices. A few different choices. And this was seemingly the, the requested flight. So that's why you're getting it. It'll be interesting. I did this flight before. It was a bit 
uh, some of the commands I might have to override one or two of the commands we'll see I hope not typically you want to follow the ATC commands uh, didn't understand before that I wanted seven left and was asking vectoring me on a different runway so I'll try and keep that in mind coming in who am I tuned to currently I'm gonna check this uh, Los Angeles Center still Yeah, we're getting towards the busy part of the flight, people. Doesn't seem far, does it? Probably some distance that, San Diego to Los Angeles. Uh, doesn't seem far on the map, but when you fly it, you realise it's, yeah, it's probably a good hour flight. Uh, within that ballpark, but I am pushing those engines. Bring back my prop a little bit just to get a bit more speed out. There we go. About 6,000 feet. So it's fine. I just want to push. Oh, there's a Tomcat in front of me. Yeah, I know I am looking to upgrade. I've been looking. I'll save that for another video. I won't give you the details, but I'm looking to upgrade my aging PC, my 1060. Can you believe the 1060 has lasted this long? Maybe six years now. Uh, PC. And that could be very soon, people. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got money put aside for it, let's say. And I've been looking. I'm just tidying up the corners on that, making sure that I'm making the absolute correct uh, decisions on what I want to buy. But from my research, yep. Yeah, Going to get into the new generation of processors, basically. And graphics cards. And I think it's going to help. I mean, it looks... There's no nothing wrong with my the way my flight sim looks, is there? But, you know, I just want to push my settings that little bit higher. Now, I'm going to ask them how they are, just to make sure that they're... Just bear with me. Los Angeles Centre, how are you today? Love chatting with these guys. Again, real estate, you know. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, good pass your message. Good. Uh, no message, just seeing how you are. It might confuse him. Let's just see, because you know, yeah, I'm not, I'm not asking him for directions or. We'll see. See what he says to that. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, copy. Copy. Okay. So he understood that, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. Just pressed my transmit button, hopefully I didn't confuse him. Look at that. There's nothing wrong with the way my flight sim looks, is there? Bit of rendering still going on there, but when it renders, it's going to be a bit choppy for you people with OBS, I'm afraid. Just the computer specs. I'm There's probably a couple of settings I need to still tweak in OBS. I only use it for group flights generally. Uh, but with this type of thing, I need a windowed mode, just so I can see, using one PC at least, my ATC Skyhawk window. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, expect the RNAV runway 7 left approach into Los Angeles. That's the one I want to... Be advised that IFR approaches are still under development and are unlikely to work properly at this time. Ah. Improvements are being made daily, but strap yourself in for a bumpy arrival. <laughs> Copy that. Not the correct terminology, but I've copied it. I'm just going to shortcut that. Okay, so we're getting towards. Oops! Don't worry about the noise there. It's just had me another window open. That's why I didn't like that. Okay. Skyhawk Hotel Delta contact SoCal approach on one two four point three. Contact SoCal approach on one two four decimal three. That will do. One two four decimal three. Look, look how easy it is with this GTN XI. One two four decimal three. That's it. And swap that over on my radio panel, and I'll say hello. So Carl approach. Hello, this is Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta with you at six thousand feet. Should do. Right. Ooh. Just 
C. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta SoCal Approach, Roger. Santa Ana Altimeter 1012. Okay, press the wrong button again. Let's get back inside the aircraft. Set Altimeter 1012, Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta. I've not got the other chatter on just because it's easier to hear. There's a lot of commands they're giving me. It's easier to hear. 1012. Yep, it's set. So it's asking me for this this side this time, but it's set correctly. So there's nothing wrong there, is it? Busy part. I am going to start to throttle. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Fly heading 290 vectors for the RNAV runway 7 left approach. 297. Okay. Fly heading 290 vectors for the RNAV runway 7 left approach. Oh, I messed up there. Okay, but it picked up, I think. 290, okay, let's do it. 290. Just gonna put my heading to 290. I'm gonna see what this does. So we're, we're shortcutting a lot of the uh, approach here, aren't we? Oh no. No, no, it's, it's actually going along the flight plan, isn't it? 290 first, yep, because it's going west, isn't it? Skyhawk Hotel Delta Fly heading 285. Fly heading 285. Uh, again, not the correct terminology, I'm just, just bear with me. <laughs> but it doesn't matter to pick it up. It's just me and them, don't forget. So they know I'm a learner, so it's fine. I'm flying now 285. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, Roger, continue on heading 285. Roger. <laughs> I'm going to piss them off, aren't I? <laughs> Didn't actually allow that to go through. It probably thought I'll stop clowning around, Hoddison. Let's see what she does. This is an interesting approach. I'm going to let her vector me in. Oh, God help me. I'm going to slow down now. And I want to say that because uh, it's still under development, this part. You remember the message you got before? Still under development. Keep it in mind, people. Let's see how well it does it, though. So in heading mode, uh, at a bearing of 285 degrees at the moment, people. As you can see there, 285. Well, it doesn't show you there, but you can roughly see it at about 285. Oops. It'll be interesting, this won't it? Got the right nav frequency. Let's ask to descend to 4,000 feet. Skyhawk Hotel, Uniform Delta Delta, requesting flight level change to 4,000 feet. That's the ILS height, basically, on the Navigraph charts. Well, it's minimum height, rather. Minimum height. Did it pick up? Yeah, I was just thinking about it. Skyhawk Hotel, Delta Descend and maintain 4,000. Thank you. Just bear with me guys, I'm just going to slow my aircraft down, way down now. I'm descending at 1100 feet. Got it back in the heading mode, it's handy to have a multi-panel for this part. <laughs> my goodness, on a radio panel I've got to say, using this, it's beautiful. And this GTNXI when you're changing those frequencies. Uh, by the way, has it picked up on Los Angeles? Should do soon. I hope that's United right. 510 SoCal Approach Radar Contact. Oh, you got chatter on it. Just bear with me for a second. I've thought I've disabled chatter. That's unusual. Okay, I think that's a real person. It might be because I've got the other chatter off. I don't know. Surprised to hear that. Okay, we're descending to 4,000. I can put it into... Well, I've got to let see what happens, people. This is this is a new one to me. I did this flight before and I had a different flight route to this. So it must change each time. Hopefully she's going to guide me in. Where are we going here? I was heading towards, directly towards Los Angeles there. The airport. Which I, uh, okay. We'll see. I'm going to override her. 
I'm going to override. I followed the route round because it was taking me along the right route for an approach. See if she yells at me. And if she does, I might have to... Still under development this part. So just beware. I'm just going to override it. There I would talk to ATC saying, look, I've got a routing... Well, if it was proper ATC, they probably won't take you directly towards the airport like that. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Fly heading 290. Okay. She wants me to do it, doesn't she? Okay. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta flying heading 290. Okay, let's just see what happens here. If I get down okay, it's fine. <laughs> I've gone back now to 290. It's taking me towards that. It's directly towards it, isn't it? Okay, well, let's see if she vexes me on United a different... United 510 SoCal approach. Altitude restrictions cancelled. Maintain VFR altitudes. Hmm. That's to someone else. Okay, people, let's just see what happens here. I'm going to trust she's vectoring me on a good routing here. We'll see. We'll see. In that, if we go in that direction, we're going to fly past the airport. That's Los Angeles Airport down there, by the way. One of these will be runway 7 left. I'm at 4,000 feet, so my altitude's okay. Worst case scenario, I'll take it off autopilot and manually land it. Request and manually land it, I guess. Let's just see which way she takes us. What's that? Toilet? That's a, that's a nice name. <laughs> Toilet? That's an aircraft. What? Toilet? Is that is that a mod or something? <laughs> oh, there you go, chaps. We've got a flying toilet. What a load of... Skyhawk Hotel Delta descend and maintain 2,000 fly heading 275. Uh, what? Descend and maintain 2,000 feet fly heading 275 Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta. Okay, 275. I'll set that up first. And then I'll go here and go down to 2,000 feet. Uh, get back in the aircraft. Uh, just bear with me. Put my multi on vertical speed and descend. Alright. Okay, well, 275 descending to 2,000 feet. Ugh. Got my throttle back. Not putting my gear down yet. <laughs> what are you doing to me, woman? I best not. No, I didn't transmit that, did I? Okay. Seven left. I'll be over here, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, no, it's one of these runways, I'm pretty sure. Let's just see what vectors she gives me. Let's get expedite that. Descent. Descending a bit faster, it's going to speed me back up, but I'll bring back my throttle as far as it allows me to. Without moaning at me. There's funny clicks going on here. Is my aircraft falling apart? What are you doing to me? Okay, yeah, I guess it's kind of pointless. Okay, is she just going to guide me down to the runway? Is that. Do I not need to put it into CDI VOR mode? This is interesting. Let's just see where it takes us, people. This is interesting, isn't it? I I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is hopefully, if this turns out right, it gives you the full whack of what the program can do. That's not the right word I wanted there. Gives you the, the whole scope. That's, that's a better word of what this program can do. Let's see where it takes us. I'm just keeping my speed low, near flaps. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Contact SoCal Approach on one two four point five. Oh dear. Contact SoCal Approach on one two four point five. Well, that'll do. Right, one two four point five. 
four, come on, one, two, four, come on, Nadi one, two, four, five. So, Carla Hapro, Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta with you at 2,000 feet. That will do, hopefully. Yep, I'm onto them. Give them a moment to respond. Don't take too long, please. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta SoCal Approach. Roger. Well, yeah, you could give me more information. Let's put it into CDI mode. Um, actually, I need a course of 71. I can set that up. Never mind. 71. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, we just need to turn almost 180 degrees, don't we? Let's override. SoCal approach. Requesting ILS to runway 7 left. See if it allows me to do this my, by myself. Heading away, so it's okay. I've got lots of time to line up. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, 5 miles from Fikio. Fly heading 245 until established on the localizer. Cleared for the ILS runway 7 left approach. Heading 245 until established on the localizer. Clear for the ILS runway 7 left approach. And I could go on there, but you know what. Right, 245. Two, okay, well, let's bring it back to 245. Let's just see where this takes me. See if that take me. Hopefully, it's not picked up on another runway here. You know what, guys? Until I establish on the ILS, I'm going to take things into my own hands here. Still in the development, this part, so you've got to give it time. But there's, I've got uh, localizer one on. Just need to come to about there. Get the ILS in. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Fly, heading two seven five. Just bear with me. It's going to moan at me, but I'm going to establish myself on the ILS for 7 left. This is where it can get a little bit messy, I've noticed. It was doing well before I switched over frequencies. Now he's... He's getting a bit cross with me, isn't he? <laughs> he's affecting me away. I want to line up with this. Is that moving in? It is. I'm going to press the approach. There you go. It's coming back around. Should get me. I'm going to put my gear down as well. Skyhawk Hotel Delta contact Los Angeles Tower on 120.95. Thank you. That's where I wanted to be. Okay, I'm just going to go for this, people. That's what I wanted. One, two, uh, let me just see. One, two, zero, nine, five. One, two, zero, nine, five. I'm just going to go. S uh, yeah, there. Los Angeles Tower, Skyhawk Hotel, Uniform Delta Delta with you, established on the ILS for runway 7 left. Important I mention that, otherwise they'll vector me somewhere else. They've established on the ILS, indeed. Nicely established on the ILS. Once the glide slope indicator starts coming down, it'll just lock me on it. I've got it in approach mode. See what they say. Skyhawk Hotel, Uniform Delta Delta, Los Angeles Tower. Cleared ILS approach, runway 7 left. My goodness. Cleared ILS approach, runway 7 left. Skyhawk Hotel, Uniform Delta Delta. <sighs> that was stressful, people. Still under development there. It got there in the end. Sometimes, you know, if you're not happy with something, request something and change something. Uh... Yeah, it, like if it's stuck on the same frequency, I think she would have vectored me in without me going to localizer one. She just would have brought me down by the looks of things. The way it was looking. I don't have any flaps in. That's just to give you an idea, but what an exciting flight. I want to test this more and keep testing it throughout the development. It's interesting, isn't it? Oops. So, yeah, better. Why well, was an arrow pointing over there? So there we go. Autopilot control. Uh, 13 nautical miles out. 
supply slope indicators come down. We're descending under approach mold, people. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, winds calm. Runway 7 left, clear to land. Winds calm, runway 7 left, clear to land. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. My goodness, I'm becoming more confident, aren't I? <laughs> you do after time, in fact. And even on that sim, you start to become more confident once you start... Once it starts to click. Right, one stage of flaps. So that's land, that's the uh, takeoff flaps basically. And then the next stage is landing flaps, which I'll put it into. Just a bit above flat speed there, but I'm at 30% throttle, would you believe? Throttle. So I can afford to bring that throttle back to 25%. Interesting aircraft, the uh, TBM850, it comes up with a chip error here. If that happens, you have to go to your radio stack somewhere. Let's see if I can show you this, get it into that view. Yeah, put this on nav, which one was it? Put this on nav, I'll show you here. And it says repair engine, you have to repair your engine if you get that chip error. <laughs> And that's on each flight, so if you go away and come back tomorrow, you've still got that chip area, you can't fly, basically. How are we doing for the runway? Let's put another stage of flaps in. Slow myself down a wee bit more, take it off autopilot, and once I'm over the runway, bring that throttle down, the glide slope's just below where it needs to be there, but Pappy Light's perfect. Minimums. And once we're over that beautiful runway, thank goodness, let it come down. And try and do a nice landing, shall we? To finish off. Just floating a little bit. Nice and gentle. Oh, that's gentle, isn't it? There we go. Bring my flaps up. How are we doing? I missed that turn off. But we can take this next one. It slows down. Quickly, this TBM850. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now, I'll see if it comes back to me. I'm just gonna break here, and then it will request taxi. Listen, I've kept you long enough. I hope you enjoyed that. Still worth. Oops, let's pop my parking brake. Still worth giving a go, this Say Intentions ATC. Still under development, keep that in mind. It's an interesting program Skyhawk I'm loving. Hotel Delta. Welcome to Los Angeles. Contact ground on 131.975. I'll do that in a moment. Uh, it's interesting, it seems to change. You do the same flight, it will change, give you different directions as well. It just gets very interesting. Well worth trying. If you do try it, go through my affiliate link, please. Let me know your thoughts, give the video a like, if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.